I feel like I might rather be doing another video where I eat insects than this one, but here we are, we're gonna get through it. What is the power set of the empty set? What is the power set of the power set of the empty set? What's the power set of that? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. I've been asked these sorts of questions at least a couple of times, and I gotta say, I think it's a kind of useless and irritating question, but I understand lots of you have probably been assigned these sorts of questions, and I suppose I can see how it might be kind of useful for practicing our understanding of the definition of power set and subset with this sort of strange and certainly monotonous example. So naturally, uh, as a result of the subject, I'm going to be saying the word set a ton in this lesson. So at times, I'm going to try to say collection instead of set, just to mix it up a little so all the words don't blend together. Just know when I say collection, I mean set. I'm going to put a ton of links in the description to relevant lessons I've done to make sure you're up to speed, stuff about subsets, power sets, cardinality, cardinality of power sets. So if at any point during this lesson you're lost, check the description. It'll probably have a link to what you are what you are looking for. All right, let, we'll get into it in just a minute. Just want to point out, you're probably familiar with two ways we can write the empty set. We can write it like this, or we can write it like this with just some empty set brackets. We're going to have to write a ton of set brackets anyway in this lesson, so we're going to write the empty set like this. Otherwise, the entire whiteboard would be filled with like 500 set brackets. So that's how we're going to write the empty set. Let's get into our first uh, subject here, which is the power set of the empty set. Pretty straightforward. As always, I encourage you to give all of these problems a shot yourself before watching the lesson. I already have a video on this particular power set, but we're going to go even further in this lesson. So let's just do the baby steps. What's the power set of the empty set? Well, recall that the power set of a set A is the collection of all subsets of A. So all we have to do to find the power set of the empty set is we have a set and we just got to put all the subsets of the empty set in that set. And that is the power set. All right. Well, what are the subsets of the empty set? Well, the empty set is a subset of the empty set because the empty set is a subset of every set. For a quick explanation of why that is, suppose there was some set, say, A, that the empty set was not a subset of. That would mean the empty set has to have an element that's not in that set A. Well, that can't be because the empty set has no elements. So the empty set is a subset of every set, including itself. So we can put that as our first element in the power set of the empty set. Again, remember the power set of a set is the set containing all of its subsets. The empty set is a subset of itself, so it goes in its own power set. And that's the only one. That's the end of the power set. There certainly can't be any other subset of the empty set because any other set would have to be non-empty and thus obviously can't be a subset of the empty set by definition of subset. Another way we can be sure that we found all of the elements of the power set is with the handy formula for the cardinality of a power set. Recall that the cardinality of the power set of a set A is equal to 2 to the power of the cardinality of that set A. If you don't remember why this is true, I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson talking about it. So in this case, we're taking the power set of the empty set. The empty set has zero elements. So the power set should have two to the power of zero or one element. And we see that's what we've got here. So we can be sure that this is the entire power set. And I want to emphasize this fact that the empty set here is an element of our set. Just like any other set, the empty set can itself be an element of sets. The empty set isn't super weird. It's just a set that has no elements. So in this set, the empty set is our one element. So make sure you distinguish between this set, which contains the empty set, and the empty set itself. These are two different sets. This is the empty set, which has no elements. This is the set containing the empty set, which has one element, that one element being the empty set. 
So hopefully that's clear. That's the power set of the empty set. And if you don't understand why that is, perhaps check out my lesson dedicated to the topic and maybe another explanation will help you out. Let's move on. We're going to take the power set of this bad boy now. So the power set of the power set of the empty set. In other words, the power set of this thing here. All right, what is that? Well, again, it's the collection of the subsets of this set. So what are the subsets of this set? Well, again, the empty set is a subset of every set. So we can easily start off with the empty set, put that in our power set. Again, the power set contains the subsets of this thing. The empty set's a subset of all sets, so we can start with that. Additionally, every set is a subset of itself. So we can also put this set in its own power set. We can put the set containing the empty set in its own power set because again, every set is a subset of itself. Now, going back to our cardinality for a power set rule, just gonna erase this so we have some room. We're taking the power set of this. This has one element. So the power set should have two to the power of one or two elements. We've just identified two elements, so we know, we're, we know that we're done. We've found all of the elements of the power set, all of the subsets of this set. Another way we could write this, if you prefer, is like this. We could have our first element as the empty set, just like before, but then the second element is the power set of the empty set. So for our second element, if we wanted to, we could just write power set of the empty set. But you know, half the fun of these sorts of problems is that you get all these nasty set brackets and it just looks ridiculous. So, you know, why would you want to do that? Then it doesn't look as fun. All right, that's, that's a joke. This, this would probably be preferable in, in many places. <laughs> so now we're gonna take the power set again. What if we take the power set of this? I mean, this just seems ridiculous, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the power set of the power set of the power set of the empty set. So we started off with the power set of the empty set, and then we took the power set of that, which is this here, and now we're taking the power set of that. So what's this gonna be? Well, as a starting point, we're taking the power set of a set that has two elements. So we know this next power set should have two to the power of two or four elements. Now to help our eyes see the different elements, I'm going to use different colors for each element of this power set. So remember power set is just a collection of subsets. So we just have to identify all the subsets of this set and there should be four of them. Again, for starters, we can just begin with the empty set. The empty set is a subset of every set, so we can pop that into our power set. And then again, every set is a subset of itself, so we can also put this set right into its own power set because it's a subset of itself. So we'll put that here now, the set containing the empty set and the set containing the empty set. Beautiful, just like that. So that is that. It is in its own power set because every set is a subset of itself. All right, so the, we're looking for four subsets. We found two, we've only got two to go. Here's how I like to think about it. The empty set is a subset with zero elements. We've just put the set itself in the power set. That's the subset with two elements. So now we just have to get the subsets in between, the subsets that have one element. Now this set that we're taking the power set of only has two elements, so its subsets that have one element are pretty simple. Just the set that contains this one element, this one element being the empty set, and the only other one element subset is the set that contains this one element the set that contains this one element, the element being the set containing the empty set. And that's it, those are our one, two, three, four, checks out, that's what we wanted, our four subsets of this set. Thus, those are the four elements of its power set. And then we can close our big beginning set bracket, and that's it. 
And then here, just for kicks, if you wanna look at it, I've rewritten the set, but I've replaced any time the power set of the empty set appears, I've replaced that notation with that notation, which you might think is easier to look at and understand. So that's it. Those are the first few power sets of power sets of the empty set. We've got our power set of the empty set, which just contains the empty set, then the power set of that, which just contains the empty set and the original power set of the empty set. And then we've got our beautiful color-coded sort of power set of that. Let's just quickly explain these elements one more time. The power set of a set, in this case, the power set of this thing here, is the collection of all of its subsets. The empty set is a subset of every set, so we can put that in there. Every set is a subset of itself, so we can put it into its own power set. And then the way I explained it before, the empty set is a subset with zero elements. In this case, the set itself is the subset with two elements, so then we just got to get the subsets in between, the subsets with one element. Thus, that's just going to be the set that has this one element from the set, that one element being the empty set, and the set that has this one element from the set. Set, 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 set. Hopefully, uh, that was comprehensible. Now, <laughs> You know, if we want to be crazy, what about the power set of this? What would that bad boy be? Well, this thing has four elements. So if we were mad enough to take the power set of this, it would have to have two to the power of four or 16 elements. 16 isn't a ton, but it sure is when, you know, you're looking at this sort of hideous notation. So that would be the power set of the power set of the power set of the power set of the empty set would have 16 elements. And there's no way that I'm going to walk you through that. But I am going to write it. So give me a few minutes, I'll speed it up. I'm gonna go turn on some music and write out the power set of this. The power set of the power set of the power set of the power set of the empty set. Beautiful. There is our power set of the power set of the power set of the power set of the empty set. Amazingly, I think I was actually able to keep my head straight while doing that. I think this is correct, but I encourage you to uh, do it yourself and check me. Let me know if it looks correct to you down in the comments. So that's a super fun exercise. Really enjoy doing that. And this is it. Uh, no more videos like this. So, so uh, I'll also just point out, it's probably obvious, I switched red and blue uh, between elements just to help make it easier to look at. So hope this video helped you understand how to take power sets of the empty set until your heart is content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'd really appreciate a small donation on PayPal or small monthly pledge on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, there's links to those in the description, by the way. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Christmas